Hello nurse, welcome to Ahmed Coaching and I'm your teacher Dr. Anam. Today we will study about properties of respiratory surface in animals. Respiratory surface in animal is the place or the site where gaseous exchange takes place. And gaseous exchange is very important for the stability of life. So what properties should a respiratory surface have? The first one is large surface area and moisture. Surface should be extremely large and it should be kept moist. Now what is the purpose of large surface area is when the large surface area is present the gaseous exchange it can take place very easily. And why it should be kept moist because when the water or moisture is present the gases they are going to dissolve in the water and it will be very easy for the gases to move from one part of the cell to the other part of the cell. The example of the large surface area and moisture can be seen in lungs and gills of fish. Here you can see this is the lung and the large surface area of the lung is because of the alveoli which are present in the lungs. So there are millions of alveoli present in the lungs. Moreover, there is water layer present around it which is going to help in the dissolution of gases and the exchange of gases it will be very easy. The second property is thin epithelium. Distance across which diffusion has to take place should be very little. In animals, the epithelium which separates air and blood is only two cells thick. Here you can see this part here. This is epithelium and you can see how thin the epithelium is. So if the gaseous exchange or the diffusion has to take place, it can easily be moved by the two layer of these epithelium so thin epithelium is another property of respiratory surfaces in animals uh, and because of this two cell thick layer of epithelium the distance of diffusion is very short the third property is ventilation now what is ventilation in if you consider a home or a room in the room you use exhaust fan that exhaust fan is actually working as a ventilator it is going to help in the diffusion of the gases the gases which are accumulated in the room they can be moved out of the room by the help of that exhaust fan so similar things should be happen in the animals or the respiratory surface the ventilation is going to maintain a steep diffusion gradient so that no particular gas can be accumulated in one part of the cell Big difference in concentration of gases at two points brings about diffusion. For example, if we take the gaseous exchange which takes place in the alveoli of the lungs, you can see that the blood has large uh, amount of carbon dioxide, while the air which we breathe in has large concentration of oxygen. So because of the concentration gradient of these two gases, the exchange of gases it will take place, the oxygen it will enter into the blood while the carbon dioxide it will be breathed out. The last property of respiratory surface in animal is the capillary network which should possess this extensive network of capillaries through which blood should flow all the time at an adequate speed. Here you can see in the lungs, the alveoli, they are actually embedded or they are covered by the blood vessels in which the blood flow very slowly so that the gaseous exchange, it can take place. Now the steep diffusion gradient is maintained which help in the rapid diffusion of oxygen. As I told you before that oxygen is present in high concentration in the air which we breathe in and the carbon dioxide is present in large concentration in the blood so the gaseous exchange it takes place very easily and it can only takes place when that particular surface is covered with the capillary network so these are the properties of respiratory surface in animals if you have any question you can ask me in the comment section i will see you in the next video